Good afternoon, uh, this is Marie's Universe and today we're going to read some cards and I would like to focus today on something a bit different and to connect with your soul, with your spirit to the deep, deep, deep essence that you are and maybe some guidance as to what is happening to your life now so I'm going to take out uh, three cards and you can feel which cards you feel mostly drawn to when they're closed and then I'm going to open one by one and read them, okay? So that's number one, it's calling me. It's number two. And it's number three. Okay. Wonderful, let's go. Okay, so here are the three cards. Tap into them, just feel energetically which one you would like to choose, which one is talking to your soul the most. And now we're going to open card number one. Ooh, look at this card. So unusual. I think it's the first time I ever pick it up from this pack. So let's have a look. Well, you are a journeyer. <laughs> you are the person who likes a journey. That kind of a soul. You don't mind going into the depth of things and into unexplored lands and sometimes into difficult situations in order to find the solution and in order to find maybe... Uh, life purpose, uh, life lesson, what you're here to do. Uh, I can feel that sometimes you start uh, from a very far place. So maybe you incarnate <clears throat> on this planet and uh, you prepare a long journey ahead in order to take your time and um, explore and find out who you really are. And you're kind of a patient and um, in-depth spirit who doesn't mind to go uh, at length in order to find uh, the solution or the life purpose and uh, you're quite independent <laughs> looks like and uh, you're actually quite skillful and you know what you're doing here it's just sometimes it takes a little bit a long time it feels like that uh, like sometimes you really make long plans that maybe you're gonna live many years and maybe you're gonna meet different people and go through different situations in life until you come to that solution. So I almost feel that uh, the message is that sometimes you can make things shorter and sometimes you don't have to wait that long for things to develop, envelop, you know, um, unfold for you. Sometimes you can shorten them up. So maybe you don't always have to carry a lot of things with you and wait till you go from point A to point B, you can just learn to magically shift yourself, transform yourself from A to B without the actual need of uh, walking that path of life for so long. It definitely feels like you're an old soul and you've been around uh, for a while and you've taken some difficult uh, tasks. Uh, look at this smile. <laughs> of this man so you kind of enjoy taking on a lot and look at these bags they're full of um, things you have a very very full bag and you've got some provisions here and some tins um, and a sword so you're really well equipped but it's also almost like you carry a little bit too much maybe a little bit too much weight maybe you can take some of your shoulders some of the experience maybe from past lives you know from previous uh, incarnations uh, maybe you don't have to be that independent and always you know uh, provide for yourself and strive for yourself maybe it's time you kind of uh, relax a little bit more and sit on the meadow with the sheep and just have fun and just allow things to happen rather than uh, containing the energy so strongly within you. This is just what's coming. And also maybe um, just expect more miracles, expect more wonderful things to happen. Don't always feel like you have to achieve and walk a lot and it doesn't always have to be long. I'm getting this message. It doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be that complicated and tiresome. It can be easier. like. There is light over there, you can just sit on the meadow, you can just sit with the sheep, you can open your arms, look at the sky, and maybe this way uh, good things will come easily, will come better. And also I feel that you 
uh, feel the need to protect yourself a lot and to always be like in a fighter zone uh, that maybe you need to be a warrior or you need protection and again it feels like maybe you don't need to carry all that around you maybe you can drop the weight extra protection you know maybe some dirt or some old clothes that you're wearing just just drop them just let them go and see how it feels maybe you can do things easily maybe you can achieve things better when when you relax and there is uh, this dark bird here and a black cat and it feels like <clears throat> they are um, maybe the omens or something that has been bothering you in your life or maybe something which has been following you and eating you a little bit maybe it's an old feeling an emotion a situation um, it doesn't feel like a person it feels like an event maybe <clears throat> something from your childhood maybe some deep upsets or maybe feeling unworthy untrue you know those kind of sensations so it's like again I feel it's related to the weight uh, that you're carrying you also kind of carrying these two uh, darker aspects and um, uh, they all it's all very 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 uh, contained uh, in your energy so it just feels like uh, try and relax sit down on the meadow open your arms to the sunshine uh, don't try too hard uh, you don't have to walk that far to reach your destination maybe if you relax uh, you will get it easily uh, just try. Give yourself a little break, a relaxation, and see what happens. And now we're going to open card number two. Well, this feels very different from the previous one. Uh, it feels like you're not so much about the exploration and hardships and long journeys. You have a more kind of a princessy kind of energy. You like to go within. You like to connect to yourself, maybe to find your real inner core. It feels like this little girl represents uh, your inner core, some sort of innocent simplicity that you have inside of you. And it feels like you're more a person who likes to take it easy, <laughs> take it more simpler, maybe more relaxed uh, lifestyle, maybe you like things to come to you easily, which is fine. And you like contemplation. You're looking for that truth inside of you. Maybe you didn't always have this truth. Maybe at some point of your life it's been cloudy or you couldn't connect to who you really are. So at this point of your life now I can feel that you are guided back to who you are, to that essence of you. And it's not necessarily a powerful, you know, soul. It's not necessarily something very um, strong, you know, deep. It can be that little girl uh, as a metaphor that represents your true inner core so I almost feel like the message is to uh, maybe not look for complications but look for your simple version of yourself who you really are in simple terms in simple notes so if we were to play a song and if it was a very complicated song on a piano you know high low notes lots of different notes uh, we may choose just one which represents you so choose a lighter song choose a simpler song and in that simplicity find your uh, texture find uh, that fabric that you're made of so you feels like you you like and you deserve to be treated well so it's a kind of an energy that is well looked after and uh, she's got lots of different nice objects around her like it feels like you've been protected or looked after in some way so again I'm getting this privileged sense and I'm also getting a sense that maybe at some point you've been a bit lazy about uh, doing things in terms of finding out about yourself who you are maybe you've been a bit reluctant maybe turning more to you know easy maybe material side of life but uh, now it's time to kind of drop that uh, drop all that that's been around you and go back uh, to your core and uh, yes I feel uh, for you it's a little bit um, kind of cutting the, the the material side of things not completely but 
uh, detaching a little bit from it so you can see uh, your beautiful inner core and uh, you're holding the blue bird in your hands and it feels like a friend and it feels like the energy that you've kept throughout your life like you know like a little toy that the child keeps for their whole life and they still remember it so it almost feels like a sign or a symbol a guidance that can help you in life this blue bird so maybe you can connect to that as well and uh, you need more to um, look within more to contemplate uh, more to fantasize think of fairy tales think of stories tales anything related to that so uh, take time for yourself that's what i feel go deeper take time for yourself sometimes leave your magical castle and i know things are beautiful in the magical castle but sometimes you need to go a little bit outside of it to find out who you are because you can't always see who you are when you're always surrounded with things and people and animals here uh, you need to find out so it's very strange but i feel that the message is as lovely as life sometimes is and as lovely as you know physical things are we have to go uh, down the spiritual path and we have to sometimes uh, give it a little break uh, detach from the physical life a bit and go within and find ourselves there and now we're going to open card number three wow okay look at this card oh my god so beautiful princess princess wow well you're the queen <laughs> or the king uh depending who, who is listening now you are definitely the queen of your life and you've got it all you've lived so many lives you've achieved some sort of a mastery already so you're way 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 in front uh, you hear more like a gift to humanity more like you've just made it um, you know more of a favor <laughs> to this planet rather than uh, difficulties or learnings you came here as a present uh, to planet earth and uh, planet earth and its inhabitants are certainly admiring uh, your presence here you you have it all you've been a philosopher you've been an astronomer uh, you've been some sort of a great thinker in your past lives you've done great jobs already so now you are the epitome the accumulation of those great energies that you've represented in your past and you chose to come here uh, you don't look like those energies anymore you look like a beautiful being you look different but inside of you you still carry the energy of the past lives of your great lives that you've had uh, you've done some writing in the past so you've done some writing on the scrolls or being like a think a philosopher that's what i'm getting and even if you're now maybe a beautiful woman in this life maybe you're a man but um you don't look like that who you look now you don't look like who you were in a past life but you carry it in your energy field so people tap into that and you know that you're powerful and you know you've grown to this level you can't uh, put yourself in small shoes anymore it's impossible because you're a big big person and a big soul and and you know it whether you already recognized it uh, you know consciously or whether you're still in the process of finding it out uh, just be sure that you are a great princess or prince uh, in this life you already have it and you've been sent here to do some purpose uh, to spread your light and knowledge to to other beings who are they're already gathering they're all kind of there helping you serving you they want to know uh, the bird wants to know this person wants to know this person wants to know they all want to listen to you whichever way you're going to transmit information in this time so just bathe in your golden light in your amazing uplifting golden energy enjoy yourself enjoy being yourself because you're definitely the person to enjoy uh, doubt is out of the question i'm afraid i'm not gonna even mention it you have to enjoy yourself and 
I mean enjoy yourself, <laughs> enjoy who you are. You just all these lives that you've lived, they were so strong. You've done so well. You've already been through all that. So now, just like the last page of the book, you have to enjoy it. You have to look at all these pages and see what book came out of it and read it with pleasure and savor every part of yourself. Enjoy your golden hair, enjoy your green dress, enjoy your red shoe. This is who you are. I feel that almost like, yes, your cycle of lives is already over. Uh, maybe you've already finished all the lives that you were supposed to do and now it's just it's a pleasant visit from kind of a fairy <laughs> uh, from another dimension to just help the planet and maybe write down some conclusions from this cycle of life from these incarnations uh, maybe you're writing down uh, like your final uh, conclusions what you've learned on planet earth during these lifetimes uh, what your conclusion is about this this planet, the people, inhabitants, the worries that people have, the emotions, like you're writing a thesis and uh, you go back and you'll share it with the other beings on your planet. Uh, but it's the final stage of your work, so enjoy being who you are. That's That's very important for yourself and others. Wow, that was quite funny, wasn't it? Uh, I really enjoyed the reading, <laughs> to be honest myself. I didn't expect these cards to come out, but as usual in spiritual work and readings, the best thing is not to expect and just go with the flow and see what comes. So they are all three completely different ones and uh, I love the message in each one of them. And funnily enough, they kind of formed a succession of events, almost like exploring the life as it is taking the hardships then going to exploring yourself you know going deep within you and then being the the queen or the king of your life you know being that god or goddess encompassing all that you've learned so uh to be honest with you i feel that we can have all three <laughs> at the same time so uh you may have been drawn to two cards like i'm sometimes drawn let's say very strongly to princess but also a little bit to the youngest daughter you could have felt the same thing so it doesn't mean that you just represent one of these three maybe you have different aspects but they're all quite different and interesting aren't they so the soldier <laughs> feels like poor thing <laughs> he takes on a lot in his life like i really feel uh, sad for him i want to help him to to take off the, the luggage the weight because as happy as he looks i think he's a bit oblivious about the fact that he can let it go and it's he doesn't have to walk so long and it reminds me of some situations in life you know when i was a child maybe when uh, i don't know in my family or somewhere you you are supposed to have a hardship hardship is somehow considered to be a good thing let's work hard you know let's uh, get up early work this needs to be done this needs to be done this energy uh, never resonated with me <laughs> I never felt connected to it. I'm still not. I like doing things lightly when I feel like doing things peacefully. So that kind of hardship energy, I think from maybe past centuries or maybe past generations, it stayed with people and we've been <clears throat> programmed and told also by our parents that we need to strive, we need to work hard. Um, I don't believe in it. <laughs> I think we're here to enjoy and to have a light, beautiful, easy lifetime. Of course, there are difficulties, uh, of course, there will be challenges, but the approach, how we should take it, I think, should try and let go as much as possible and try to travel light, in my opinion. So, I just want to wish this man be lighter, have a little rest, you know, don't worry so much about carrying things. You don't have to carry things anymore. You don't have to. You can drop them and just relax and let go. So, um, that's my wish to you, uh, for those who chose this card, all right? Okay, so second one is youngest daughter, quite interesting. Uh, I felt a bit connected to this card on the back when I first looked at it. Uh, it's unusual, um, I don't know if it resonates with you, but I do get the message that maybe you've been a little bit avoiding um, looking within and maybe you were 
given some sort of a gift or that castle or some sort of a good lifestyle i don't know i might be wrong but this is how it feels so sometimes of your life maybe you you simply didn't have a chance or didn't have an opportunity to explore who you really are maybe it wasn't a castle as such maybe it was a circumstance maybe you had a loving family or close people to you so you never kind of looked really deep within and uh, this feels like uh, it's, it's a good time for it. So this girl, she went into the forest and uh, she's maybe sitting here near the tree. She's got her toys, but she's not looking at the toys at the moment. She's more holding the bluebird in her hands. And uh, it's also about simplicity. It's teaching us about simplicity and innocence and purity, but most simplicity. Almost like you can untangle difficult things in your life maybe complicated things. Maybe you were thinking about yourself in a complicated way, perhaps in spiritual teachings as well, perhaps you've been meditating, getting lots of different informations, but it feels like you need to break it down to simple girl <laughs> or boy, you know, you need to break it down to simplicity, almost to this fraction. So uh, we don't always have to complicate things. Sometimes we can simplify them and uh, I'm getting this message that perhaps if you've been meditating, if you've been collecting a lot of information about yourself, uh, drop some of it and connect more to that fractal, the initial fractal of light that you are, that, that came here to earth and try go not to the complex, but to the simple path, simple way of seeing yourself, simple way of seeing things. So, in a way, if we saw the magical field with lots of different fractals and complications and this small, big, different shapes, if we really, really focus, it all comes down to one big fractal, who you are. And that's what you need to focus on. Simplify uh, your journey, simplify your findings and uh, take time to connect to yourself. That's how it feels. And uh, <laughs> my mind is telling me, oh my god, what am I talking about? Like, uh, it may sound upsetting or unpleasant, but um, that's what I feel, interestingly enough. Uh, again, it's a metaphor, right? So it can connect to many different things of your life. You have to see it for yourself. Uh, if you have a different sensation, uh, you could be right about a different sensation. So you can do your own reading as well, but I just tell you what, what I get intuitively. Okay, and our oh, princess! Hooray! <laughs> I felt so drawn to this, but this and this as well, a little bit, but this uh, in particular uh, feels right, doesn't it? <laughs> feels like, oh my god, I've done all these journeys, I've been in Middle Ages, I've been in Renaissance, I've been in Victorian times, I've, I've lived all these lives now. I can come here and enjoy. I'm on a special invitation now to planet Earth. I'm on special uh, rules of the game. Uh, it's different, I think, for the souls who are on, on a higher level. It's different, um, different rules, <laughs> I think. Different settings, so a bit more privileged in terms of you've earned it yourself. You've earned now th this position that you have. Whether you realize it, maybe you don't, but I think you do. Uh, you realize you're on a different position and um, you've earned it. It's not a coincidence. It's not just by chance. You've earned it through, through hard work, uh, through deliberate choosing of your past lives. They were quite uh, wholesome. They were quite intense, strong lives of big people. You've lived uh, great personalities, not just not just simple people, but big people. And you've learned, so you almost like re writing a book about uh, what's it like to incarnate on planet Earth. Chapter one. I started as a caveman long time ago, sitting in a cave with my fellow mates and learning what it's like to learn to survive and look after myself. <laughs> Something like that. And then you write every chapter. Then I turned into a beautiful queen. Uh, in, you know, in Victorian times, sitting there, enjoying my lavish lifestyle. I was learning how to not lose myself in the material world. For example, uh, this is just what comes to me. <laughs> and then 
you saying, okay, this is my last journey to planet Earth and here on my last journey, I'm just gonna observe. I'm gonna make conclusions, like it really feels like con conclusions, conclusions, you know, at the end of a thesis, we always write conclusions. So uh, I think they, up there, they wanna know your conclusions. <laughs> what did you learn from it? Because you're gonna present that paper in the end. But you're very beautifully dressed. You're very beautifully dressed. You've, you've reached that dress. That's a spiritual dress. Uh, it's not given just to anybody. You've reached the point of being given, allowed to wear this dress. Almost like in university, you know, when they have different degrees. <laughs> Similar, but a spiritual, different, high, high energy. And it feels like, oh, this may be human things that don't matter so much to you. You've done it in the past. Let them get on with it. <laughs> You're just here standing on a postman and um, it doesn't matter so much what you do in this life as long as you just need to finish the, the book you need to finish the book, write the conclusions what you feel it's all about here what did you learn from these experiences how many lives you've had tens, hundreds, dozens what did you learn what lessons did you learn what do you think people are going through here what are they learning what can help people how can future souls who choose to incarnate on planet Earth what will they have to deal with? You can teach them on another plane. What, how they can help people here to evolve. So if you're not becoming any more here, uh, you got to teach others how to do it. So it's a different story. Uh, quite a relief, to be honest. It's nice, isn't it? And you're quite a bit wrapped up in yourself, but you can afford it. <laughs> At this stage, you can afford it. So yeah. Thank you. Amazing. I enjoyed it very much. It's very interesting what information comes through. I never expect it in advance. I never know or prepare. It's on the spot and I think the freshest, most natural information comes on the spot. So I always try to listen to my intuition and I encourage you to do the same. Uh, read the cards of life. You don't need to have a pack of cards. You don't need to do it in old fashioned technical way. This is just one of the ways. You can read life, you can read the air, you can read the books by looking at them, you can read objects by touching them, you can read your body by caressing it. Read things by looking at them because there is a book in every millimeter of the space around us. There is a very important information everywhere where we look. But it's when we tune in our eyes and our hearts, our intuition, we are able to tap into those books. So you just take these books, take the learning, look at it, observe and learn. You already are doing it, you already are learning from the space, from life, from every moment. You can just switch your perspective and realize that it's happening. Just turn the focus there and realize that, oh my god, I am in a book. <laughs> I'm not, I don't need to read books. I'm, I'm a book. I'm in a book. I'm being written in a book, so I'm gonna learn from my own book. On that note, love you very much. Me and the magical healing cone. Wish you well. I uh, hope everything goes well and we'll be back with some more videos. Lots of love. <laughs>